Thanks so much for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the Coral1Auto.com Valley Skycam. Part of the Storm Team Skycam Network. Lots of blue skies today, lots of sunshine, and that has warmed us up into the mid-40s, 45 degrees. A bit of a wind chill out there, 38 with those winds out of the southwest at 15 miles per hour. Temperatures elsewhere across the region have made a nice recovery from this morning. Single digits and teens in many areas now in the 30s and 40s, 38 in Bemidji, 37 in Bedette and Roseau. It's the coolest area right now. Also cool over the uh, snowpack areas, 39 in Valley City, also 39 in the Gwinter area. Winds generally out of the south and southwest, around 5 to 15 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts. That's creating some wind chills. Those wind chills as cold as 27 up in the Hallock area, 32 in Roseau, 32 in Bedette, and 33 into the Bemidji area. Cloud cover on the increase from the northwest, and we'll continue to see those clouds slowly increase from northwest to southeast as we head through this evening. Underneath those clouds, showing a little bit of sprinkle activity in Devil's Lake. I think most of this not reaching the ground. This is, though, a little bit of light rain that may make it into the Devil's Lake area as the evening wears on. So any football games up in our northwestern counties could see a little bit of rain and as temperatures drop on down, could see a few wet snowflakes in there as well. A little bit more rain in parts of Iowa and zooming on out to the national map. Western U.S., pretty quiet until you get down into the southwestern portion of the U.S. That's the remnants of a tropical system making its way through Mexico and into the southwestern U.S. Some locally heavy rains and some rain making its way through the southern Great Lakes down into the uh, Tennessee and Mississippi valleys. For us, quiet for now. But then again, as we head through the overnight hours, we'll see that chance for some showers, mainly of rain, but could be mixed with some snow at times across the far north. Then a break in the action. And as we head through time tomorrow, pretty strong cold front is going to come on through. High temperatures along and east of the Red River early in the day, and then strong gusty winds. Temperatures falling as we head through the afternoon hours. Chance for showers along the front, and then a break in the action as we head through time on Sunday. This activity slides to the south in the form of some snow showers and could see some minor accumulations across the far northern valley as we head through the day on Sunday. Here in Fargo for your Saturday, we start off with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, much better than the 18 we started off with today. 43 in the front moving through at about lunchtime and then temperatures falling to around 40. Some strong and gusty northwesterly winds. Could see winds gusting over 30 miles per hour at times. That will create some cold wind chills in the 20s. Picture of the day, Gigi, the abominable doodle. This in the Goodridge area. Thanks to Allison for sending that in. Going to use that as the backdrop to our seven-day forecast. And again, a chance for some rain showers, maybe mixed with snow up north. Chance for snow showers. Best chance northern half of the area on Sunday. Warmer on Monday. Cooler on Tuesday. And then relief. <laughs> back up into the upper 50s to low 60s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. By then, people will be saying, what snow? Yeah, Gigi will be not so happy if she can't No, play Gigi will just be a doodle, not the abominable <laughs> right. doodle. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, yeah, Robert. You got it.